Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. I am actually in South Alabama at Plant Development Services. Uh, this is the uh, kind of the home of the Southern Living Plant Collection and Encore Zellias. I'm in one of their trial greenhouses right here. Uh, I'm gonna walk through here and show you some uh, items that are in one of their trial greenhouses. This is also kind of a staging area where they do shows in the winter time to show off the things that they uh, have going on for the Southern Living Plant Collection and Encore Zellia. And so they bring them in here to kind of get some had them looking you know great in the winter time because all the nursery shows are in the winter time which is uh, kind of a weird thing in our business the plants aren't necessarily looking their best uh, when uh, at the time of year you want to show them off and, and and show them to the world so they use this space for that as well there's some things in here i can't show you uh so uh, we'll have to skip by those but uh um, i'm going to bounce around here this may have to be broken down into uh, two videos and uh, show you some of the uh, some of the really interesting things that are uh, in this trial greenhouse so like I say, I can't show you everything in here, but here's a big group of this uh, Platinum Beauty Lamandra. Uh, it's hardy in zones uh, eight to 10. It's a beautiful uh, variegated grass. One of the most exciting things that I didn't show off this year was this variegated lavender right here called Mirlo. It's absolutely beautiful uh, variegation on it. It's uh, only a hardy perennial in nine, in zone nine and 10, but certainly worth grabbing if you're in a, a colder space and uh, trying to overwinter inside. It's just such a beautiful plant. And just touching it right now, my hand's gonna smell like this the rest of the day. What a beautiful, beautiful variegated lavender. Okay, they still have some white wedding hydrangea paniculatas in here. I've done several videos uh, on these. I mean, the one thing I want you to notice on this uh, white wedding versus some of the other paniculatas is just how full it stays. I mean, it's a really has not stretched out at all to start blooming like that and look at the size of this flower just to put this in perspective here uh, these are big on a small plant so i really do like these white wedding uh, hydrangea paniculatas uh, this encore right here sunburst i think this is one of everybody's favorite with that variegated uh, flower on them right here okay moving on up this line this is uh, autumn ivory I've planted a few of these at my house. This is a great low mounding variety. And I don't know if, how well it shows through in this video, how just pure white that flower actually is. Um, even the stamens, the inside of the plant, um, no part of that flower is uh, not white, which is a uh, very, very interesting, super showy. That one's been very reliable at my house. The next one's kind of interesting. This is a, a, a group of one gallon uh, autumn fire and uh you know autumn fire and uh, autumn bonfire which i'll show you next are the two really truest red encore azaleas these outside right now um, because it's right uh, at the end of november are already have their fall color which is really really nice in the winter it's kind of a purpley color they bring them in this house for a couple weeks to force some flowers on them and uh very quickly they turn green again which is pretty interesting and then here's a group of one gallon autumn bonfires and they just bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom and what a great red red doesn't show up well on this uh camera it'll always look a little bit pink but just a tremendous variety this is autumn bell which has a darker center kind of a lighter edge on it and then as we move on up uh, these are autumn royalties up here probably the most vigorous growing reminds me of an old uh, Formosa azalea has similar foliage, similar flowers, but of course these bloom uh, multiple times. And this is uh, autumn moonlight. I've also have some of these planted at my house. And I like, and it, I don't think it'll show up on here, but the center of that flower, it has a kind of a green hue to it. And uh, I think that may, maybe why it has this name, autumn moonlight. Okay, so I'm gonna come up and show you something here. Look at these tree formed Encore azaleas. They actually grow tree formed uh, Encore azaleas down here. Not this big. These are many, many, many years old, uh, but you can see them, you know, over here, over here, uh, just bunches of them. Look how beautiful these things are. And they've just been, they've been tree formed over time, but you can actually buy these as much smaller tree forms. And they do great in these containers, like they have them here. This is autumn carnation. These are actually in uh, seven gallon containers. These are big pieces right here. This is a perfect uh, medium pink. And it actually reminds me of an old one called Pink Ruffles, 
which is super reliable and these are super reliable as well and actually uh, uh, that tree form right there and that tree form right there are also uh, autumn carnation it's really bright in this corner but this is a super exciting plant right here uh, this is a fig called little miss figgy and you can see right here it is absolutely loaded with figs on a very small plant and this plant only gets about five to six feet in height I'm gonna be covering this soon. I'm taking a couple of these out of here and adding them to my landscape. Um, but this, this right here is a really exciting uh, introduction and a, uh, a fig that uh, um, people can uh, keep under control and uh, on a much smaller lot. Of course, they have lots and lots of sunshine ligustrum in here because it's so showy. They can take these to any of the shows and uh, really uh, reel people in pretty quickly with these. This is really an exciting plant right here. This is a, a Camellia japonica called Early Wonder. And Camellia japonicas, if you're familiar with them, shouldn't be blooming in uh, November or early December. And they're blooming outside, same as they are inside here uh, at the nursery. Uh, these typically bloom after the first of the year. One problem up in zone seven where I'm at is frequently uh, Camellia japonicas uh, just get repeatedly hit with late frost and you only end up with just a few flowers on them. So having one that will bloom in the fall with these gigantic flowers, much, much bigger than a uh, Camellia sasanqua. I don't know if this will come through. They're probably four inches across right there. Really, really beautiful uh, variety. This is Jubilation gardenia here. It's a, uh, I think I covered this uh, earlier in the season. They've got two varieties, one called Scent Amazing and this one is Jubilation, and these are still budded up. This thing, pretty much at the garden center all season long, stayed budded up and almost always had a uh, flower in the process of opening, which is very interesting because frequently a, a lot of gardenia varieties will uh, just bloom all out at once and just kind of be done for the season. So this is that Juliet Clara. I covered this uh, recently in a video. I put three in my uh, yard uh, to uh, make a screen out of kind of a slower growing screening plant. Since it's variegated, it won't grow quite as fast, but really a very beautiful variety. What I didn't show you was this variety right here called Romeo, which is another uh, uh, variegated Clara. And it has a kind of a tri-color look to it in the winter. It'll get this pink in it, uh, one that hasn't been uh, exposed to any cold here in a smaller uh, container. You can see how it looks. That's, that's kind of the summer look, and that'll be kind of the winter look with a little bit of that pink in it. This one's more spreading. I mean, you can see the growth habit on it. It's a little more outward than uh, Juliet. Juliet looks like it's a little more upright growing, but both of them are super, super striking. And what a great screening plant these would be when they're in that six to eight foot height range in the future. They have all three of the uh, variegated abelias that I covered recently in here. This is uh, Radiance and uh, this is Miss Lemon. I don't know how much of that yellow will show up. Uh, in this uh, dark greenhouse. And of course, uh, over here is a kaleidoscope. And since they're in this house, they haven't taken on any of that uh, winter color yet that kaleidoscope gets, that pink that it uh, shows up and right there. There's a little bit of it, but since they brought it into this house, they're actually trying to, uh, trying to bloom again. So thank you very much for watching this video. Like I say, this is gonna be part one of this walkthrough of this uh, trial greenhouse at Plant Development Services. Uh, the uh, second part will be up uh, very soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that little bell notification so you're updated when I upload a video. Thanks again.